Hello and welcome to vlog number 36. This week, at the request of healthunlock.com user Seamus60680, I'm going to talk about current advances, exciting research and the search for a cure for Parkinson's disease. Because this is a pretty big subject, I'm going to tackle it in a number of vlogs. This vlog is about stem cell treatment. There has been no significant advance in either treatment of or a cure for Parkinson's disease since the introduction of levodopa therapy in the 1960s. Over 50 years later, levodopa remains the gold standard treatment for PD, in spite of vast sums of money being spent in research globally in pursuit of better treatments or, perhaps, even a cure. It does seem, in recent years, that there have been some exciting advances in the research of treatments including the repurposing of existing medications, the development of aids to facilitate living with the symptoms of the condition, and advances in our understanding of how Parkinson's develops. Stem cell treatments are offered by a number of private clinics, one of which claims up to an 85% success rate. These treatments are expensive and unproven, despite the testimonials from satisfied customers on their websites. When I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's, I did a little research on this treatment option and came to the conclusion that it was somewhat hit and miss. Perhaps, in the future, it will become a viable treatment, but currently, it is very much in the experimental stage. What concerns me the most about stem cell therapy is that the root cause of our condition, whatever causes the cell death of neurons in the brain, is not known, and so, in my opinion, any new dopamine neurons created will be subject to the same cause of cell death as the original neurons, so it would seem to me that the treatment would have to be regularly repeated. A nice little earner for the clinics in question. Also, Parkinson's disease involves a degeneration of both dopaminergic and non-dopaminergic neurons. It is uncertain if transplantation of even the ideal dopamine neuron will improve non-dopaminergic features of the disease or provide benefits superior to existing therapies. It's not all doom and gloom though. As far back as 2014, an article published in Medical News Today reported a breakthrough in stem cell therapy for PD in a study from Lund University in Sweden. Researchers had managed to get human embryonic stem cells to produce dopamine cells that behave like native dopamine cells when transplanted into the brains of rats. Researchers found that the new cells survived in the long term and restored the production of dopamine in the brain, functioned in a similar way to dopamine cells of the human fetal midbrain, were capable of producing long distance links to the correct parts of the brain, and that the axons that they grow meet the requirements for human use. The research team's next step is to prepare for human clinical trials, and they hope to have new cells ready for testing in human trials in about three years. So that's sometime in 2017 all being well. This study shows strong preclinical support for the use of dopamine cells made from human embryonic stem cells using approaches similar to those established with fetal cells for the treatment of Parkinson's. There has been some success with using fetal cells and at least one of the private clinics I mentioned earlier boasts of using fetal stem cells harvested from legally aborted embryos. But they are more difficult to source and there are ethical concerns. The Parkinson's UK website reports in March 2016 that a Californian company has announced the first clinical trials of a stem cell treatment for Parkinson's. This trial is taking place in Melbourne, Australia, it involves 12 patients with moderate to severe PD and will last for 12 months. Perhaps 2017 will give some answers regarding the viability of this treatment. I look forward to hearing the results. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.